for more on this, we're joined in the studio by France 24's international affairs editor, Doug Herbert. Yeah, now, this double attack exemplifies all the problems we see in the Sahel. Burkina Faso has suffered yeah. attack after attack after attack. This yeah. is a serious ongoing problem, isn't it? This attack did not come out of nowhere, even if it is the worst attack in uh, Burkina Faso's modern history. We have seen a sharp increase, and I mean a very sharp increase, in attacks since Burkina Faso as a whole became sort of dragged into the broader conflict and the broader sort of jihadist insurgency that began in this whole region around 2015. Um, in the first half of this year alone, uh, you had more attacks than in all of 2018. And so far this year alone, they say about 1,700 people have been killed in Burkina Faso. Um, it's perhaps no accident that uh, France, just last month in November, uh, announced that they were deploying more troops as part of their Barkhan region, uh, operation throughout the Sahel region to Burkina Faso. It's um, And more specifically, right to the region where these attacks happen today. It's the so-called Three Borders region. It's where Burkina Faso's border meets up with Mali and Niger, and where you've had an increasing number of uh, rebel armed rebel groups, jihadist militants often, uh, exploiting basically the region's poverty, uh, the region's religious conflict, sectarian strife, um, and recruiting a lot of young people to the jihadist cause in an area that lacks uh, really almost any governance at times. So this is a region that has been in very much in focus. Uh, it's been, uh, you know, here in Europe, the French have been very much aware of it. They've been trying to appeal for help in this area. Um, but the civilians are really bearing the brunt of it. And when I was talking about at least 1,700 killed civilians killed this year alone, uh, that's not even talking about the number of civilians displaced in this conflict. Um, it's, it's maybe half a million or more, at least, and that's just an estimate. Uh, the UN Food Agency, the World Food Program, actually warns that this is an escalating humanitarian crisis. And what did they say? They had the exact causes of it. They said it is driven by the rise in, uh, in Islamic, uh, Islamist insurgency in the region, and it's driven also by climate change, the climate crisis, a very arid region. So that's also adding to the tensions there, and like I said, the absence of governance. Um, they actually warn that it could become, Burkina Faso specifically, could become another Syria. Wow. And as these attacks are escalating, another military presence in the region, the U.S., is reportedly planning to withdraw troops. Yeah, and and, and yeah, what I could tell you comes with the big caveat. This is according to uh, a report um, that actually appeared in the New York Times uh, a couple of days back, saying that the U.S. military is now weighing proposals for uh, a major reduction or even a complete pullout of uh, American forces from West Africa, not just from Burkina Faso or from, but from West Africa. And general, and that, that this is part of a broader Pentagon sort of rethink of its entire uh, global deployment strategy. So drawing West Africa would be the first in line, but there could also be American troops being drawn down from regions in Latin America, uh, Iraq, Afghanistan. Why? As part of a new focus, a hard focus on the so-called great powers, Russia and China, which the U.S. now sees as the sort of 21st century clear and present dangers. Um, but more specifically, in this region, it would have massive implications uh, for the French deployment here. Emmanuel Macron is very much aware of it. It's one of the reasons, perhaps, that he uh, uh, earlier this month called, uh, has has invited the leaders of this region uh, in January uh, to come to southwestern France for sort of a crunch summit to reconsider the whole political and strategic framework uh, for the French deployment in the region, trying to ask them, what do you have in plan? How committed are you to this fight? What can you do? What about the anti-French sentiments in the region? They are, they are clearly looking ahead to the American drawdown, even if it hasn't been officially announced. It would include the abandonment of a $110 million uh, drone base in Niger, neighboring Niger, one of those three borders regions, countries as well, um, and also just a wholesale uh, drawing out of uh, ending of the assistance to the French uh, forces in the region at a time when Emmanuel Macron has been appealing for more help. So it could have massive implications. Like I said, this is reports for now, uh, but based on pretty hard, reliable sources. And most people would uh, say that, yes, this drawdown is likely to come with big implications for the way France and its entire Barkhan operation uh, approaches its, its battle. All right. Well, thank you so much for that analysis. Doug Herbert, France 24's international affairs editor, joining us here in the studio.